Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another tarantula video. Um, today's another care sheet, quick care sheet. Today we're going to be doing another species. We're going to be doing the Gramasola rosea or Gramasola pottery. Um, they changed it from rosea to pottery, but as far as I see, a lot of people, including myself, still call it the rosea. It's just, I don't know, it sticks. Uh, this is also known as the Chilean rose hair tarantula. Let's get a look at them. And there he is. This is uh, this is my male actually. I have a female and a male. My male, as you can see right here, and I don't know if the camera picks it up so well. You can kind of tell he's a little bit more red than you know. You can see how how red he is. This is this is the red color form. There's a red color form. And then there's a normal color form. In my opinion, the normal color looks a little bit better. Um, it's, it's like it's sort of grayish, kind of, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Um, so you need your temperatures to be probably in the 70s, maybe mid 70s. You want you want to do that. Um, one thing about these tarantulas, you always see them in pet stores as, you know, they say, oh, they're good beginner pets. That's a yes and that's a no because, okay, the, tr the thing with tarantulas is there's individual specimens. There can be a mean tarantula, there can be a nice tarantula. Just how there can be a mean person and a nice person. So, the way this goes down is these this specific species uh there's actually others too but this one is actually known for it can have mood swings one minute may be good you know you may be holding him you know he's, he may be acting like a puppy dog next minute he uh he might not be so nice um i don't recommend handling these because well just because of the mood swings um but i mean they're okay actually they're kind of more, they're more of a look, don't touch kind of thing. They, they look pretty cool, too. As you can see, as enclosure, I just have them in this Rubbermaid container. Uh, they're just the ones you get, like, at a dollar store or something. Um, another thing about the species, um, when you give them a water dish, I currently do not have one here. I'm going to fix that after this video. But um, they do need humidity around 70%. Now you don't want to go misting the tank. These guys, like, they they don't they don't like water like at all. They don't like the feel of it. It it it. If you see your tarantula climbing the walls sometimes, that could mean that it, the substrate is too wet. But it, oh, that's if you spray it. Sometimes you know they just might be climbing around. Um, yeah, these 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 actually from time to time climb around. Um, this male in particular can be a little aggressive at times. Uh, my female can be like that too, at times, not all the time. Sometimes they're just actually, they're just kind of skittish. They just kind of run away. Um, but yeah, um, right here, we have we have this rosea, right? Um, they have a slow growth rate, like very slow. I, I want to estimate... Um, about maybe in in five years I, I I'm not exactly sure on this but don't quote me on this but maybe like in five years or let's let's put it in a two two year period it, it can go from like a a one inch sling to a maybe a one and a half inch sling they don't grow so so much um another thing about these species why they may not be a good beginner tarantula is because they have a tendency to fast, and what that means is they'll stop eating. My female right now is actually fasting, um, and you know when when you're a new beginner, that can actually scare you. You can say, "Oh, I've done something wrong," when really you have everything right. But it, it's you know it's it's something they do. I mean, I don't know. It, it, it happens at random, you know. You don't you don't really see it. You don't really have any signs of it. It just kind of happens at random and so this guy hasn't fasted on me before he he's a pretty he's a pretty good eater um the female's always been a fast it's like her second time in my care that she's fasted um fasted she's been on a fast 
I don't know what you would call it. But yeah, um, size can range anywhere from from uh, about four and a half inches to maybe five and a half inches. Um, as you can see, this male, he's actually a pretty big male. Um, he's very, very long-legged. Uh, I, I would prod him, but I don't know. I don't really want to get him all riled up in me. Um, he, he can get to be pretty, pretty mad at times. Um, yeah, th this species, all in all, is pretty, it's pretty good, but, I mean, it, it could be a beginner. I, I, I have to admit, I did start off with one of these, with a rose hair. Um, mostly, I mean, I, at that time, I didn't know so, so much about Trangelo, so I didn't know about this. See, the thing about these guys is, you, these in particular, Graham Stroll and Rosea are seen a lot in the pet store. You see them, they're probably the most common, actually. Um, most of them I hear are usually wild caught, which can, which kind of leads to the conclusion that they may be, that may, that may be why, why, oh wow, why they're aggressive. Yeah, I just had a, like a voice spasm there. And yeah, um, but I mean, some of them may be nice, um, but still I wouldn't recommend like putting your hand in a tank. Um, you don't know how they're going to react. Uh... Yeah, they come, you know, as a name, as a common name implies, Chilean rose hair, they come from Chile, which is a country in South America, if you did not know that. Um, yeah, and, and as far as appetite goes, I mean, like I said, they, they fast sometimes, but I mean, this guy, he has a pretty good appetite, actually. I feed him um, large crickets and with the occasional superworm. Um, he seems to like crickets more, actually. Sometimes he doesn't go for the superworm. Um, he likes crickets more. I don't know, that's just his, like, I don't know. That's just how, how he probably just likes it better. I don't know. Yeah, the the superworms seem to burrow under under the uh, eco earth. Oh, which, which is another thing. I have him, the substrate is eco earth. It's the stuff you get the brick, in the brick, at uh, like Peco. Um, I use that a lot for most, for a lot of my species, for a lot of my animals, because it's, it's reliable most of the time. The only problem is, uh, you get the occasional mold, but I mean, when you have a G. rosea like this, you want to keep it dry. You want to keep it dry. That's what I have right here. I have it bone dry, except for that water dish. That water dish, that's going to give you your humidity. Um, so yeah, just keep out for that. And... Yeah, I think that's all I have to say about the Girozea. They're pretty, they're pretty okay species. I mean, um, they're underrated sometimes because, uh, I mean, they're just so common. You know, people say, oh, yeah, you know, a Girozea. But, I mean, I, I like them. They're okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about the Girozea. Uh, I guess if you like the video, rate the video. If uh, you could, maybe leave a like, um, maybe comment, and I'll see you in the next video.